are psychics legit? Or do they actually have supernatural abilities? And how do you know if you can trust a psychic or a prophet or somebody who has accurate information about you that they could never know? Well, first off, the majority of my life, I did not believe in this. I thought, you know, they're just giving vague information, extracting information out of people, making it seem like they come up with it. You know, like the Barnum effect in psychology where it's just general and vague and then people attach to it thinking it's about them. I thought it was more mind tricks, more things like that. However, as I started to see more, I began to realize that no, there are supernatural abilities that people contain. But are they good or are they bad? You know, you've seen Oprah, who has psychics on her show, many psychics on her show who publicly display their powers. But how do you know if these powers are good, are truthful, are legitimate, and where do they actually come from? Well, first off, when you are encountering someone who has these abilities, who calls himself a psychic or a prophet or ESP or many different names that they use for this type of ability that they operate in, you have to know that whether this voice is actually from good, from God, or whether it's from something that is deception, something that is deceptive. Yes, has power, yes, has ability, but is it of the right source? Well, this is what the Bible has to say about this, because there are abilities like this in the Bible. The gift of prophecy, the gift of words of knowledge, and there are prophets in the Bible who hear from God, who, who obtain information straight from God. Even Jesus, when he saw Nathanael, he said, I saw you under the fig tree. He had that word of knowledge that nobody else could have known. Now we have that, and Jesus says we will do greater works than he, so we operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Every believer today still has the ability to walk in these gifts, in the power of casting out demons, just like Jesus said in Mark 16, 17, that we all drive out demons, lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. We have the gifts of the Holy Spirit as well. But there are other people who have supposed gifts, who call themselves psychics, channelers, ESP, uh, they use tarot cards, crystals, palm reading, many different ways of gaining supernatural information. But how do we know this is bad or not of God? Well, I'm going to show you what the scriptures have to say about this. In 1 John chapter 4, it says this, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. You can test the spirit. We live in a spiritual reality. There is a spiritual realm, angels, demons, different types of beings, the seraphim, cherubim, as mentioned in the Bible. And we need to know whether we're tuning in, whether we're hearing, whether we're listening to the right source in our thoughts, in our perception when we're operating in these abilities. Many people who call themselves psychics and ESPs, they do not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. They admittedly do not confess believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again. They do not believe in the gospel. They do not believe in the word of God. Yet Jesus Christ also said this, everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. John 18, verse 37. Everyone who's of the truth hears the voice of God, hears the voice of Jesus Christ. But how do you know if you're of the truth? Well, by testing the spirits. Do you know the truth that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh? The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture, the word of God, the Bible, is inspired by God. It is the truth. When you are of the truth, when you are in the truth, when you know the truth, you hear his voice. That's what he said, all who are of the truth hear my voice. But there are other people who tap into the spiritual realm, not through the truth, not through Christ, yet still have great abilities, have supernatural abilities. 
but they're tuning into different spirits because you can hear from the Holy Spirit. You can have the gifts of the Holy Spirit of prophecy, words of knowledge, discerning of spirits. You can have these gifts as a believer in Christ, but you can also have supernatural abilities not through Christ. And these supernatural abilities include a lot of psychics, a lot of people who claim to speak to the dead, who channel entities, actually channeling beings into their body to speak through them, like Abraham Hicks, Bashar, many, many other spiritual teachers who are actually channeling beings. And they don't believe in Christ. They don't believe in the Word of God. They don't believe in the Bible. These spirits are not of God. And that's how you test the spirits. The Spirit of Christ or Spirit of Antichrist. It's through testing their faith in Jesus Christ, testing their understanding of the truth, which is God's word. So to know if somebody who's giving you this type of information, who you go to for counsel or wisdom, who, who claims to have words of knowledge for you and, and, and prophecies and, and things to tell you about yourself, you need to ask, you need to understand whether this person is sound in doctrine whether their theology is sound, and whether they believe in Christ, that they follow Christ, that they are in the Word of God. Because if they're not, and they're into a whole bunch of different philosophies, different ideas, different ways of reaching different consciousness, communicating with spirits that you know overtake them, and, and, and all sorts of different ideas that are not of God, that are contrary and contradictory to the Bible, then you know that that psychic or that medium, or that channeler, is actually not hearing from God. And when you follow that voice, when you follow that counsel, you will be following that spirit. The Greek word for spirit is pneuma, which means breath or wind. You're when you're in that spirit, when you're listening to that spirit, when you put your faith in that spirit, you are getting carried by that wind or that breath. Your destiny is being altered when you put your faith in those words because it'll try to guide your destiny, to form your identity, what you believe about yourself, what you should do in life, major life decisions you need to make. It will try to guide your life away from the calling that God has for you. But God does have a calling for you. And God has his people that you can go to who are sound, who are knowledgeable in the truth, who are of the truth, who do hear God's voice that can help you and give you sound advice. We do have these gifts of the Spirit, the gift of words of knowledge, the gift of discerning of spirits, the gift of prophecy. These are gifts for believers today. And they are not meant to just be forsaken because anything supernatural uh, you know, must be somehow demonic. No. You have to know whether that which is of supernatural origin is of Jesus Christ, is of the origin of God. Then you'll be following his will for your life. So I pray that this blessed you. Anyone who has questions about psychics and whether they're new age, whether they're, you know, demonic, whether they're of God, most people who call themselves a psychic is not a Christian, does not believe in the Bible, does not believe in the word of God, and doesn't know the truth about the spiritual realm. So Satan will actually use them because many people can have good intentions, but if they're deceived, that can be very dangerous because a, a spirit can be using them to reach people, even though they think they're doing things that are good. They might not be malevolent and evil. Some are. Some are actually evil and, 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 and gain uh, satisfaction out of people being, you know, hurt or led astray. But many, many people, psychics especially that I met, they want to help people. But when you're deceived, you can lead things to destruction without even knowing. So it's important to not be deceived, but to stay abiding in the truth of God's word and the truth of the Bible. This will help you steer clear. This will help guide you into everything that God has in store for you in your life. Everything that he's called you to do, he's created you. God has created you and you can also reach out to him. If you're going to prophets and psychics and you're feeling this need to get information about your identity, just get into God's word. Just spend time alone and get into this book. Get into this book and read it alone. Pray. Talk to God. He is your creator. He is your savior. He wants to talk to you. He wants to have fellowship with you. And he will tell you things and you will hear them and you'll be able to walk in the calling and the life that God has for you. God bless you and have a great day.